Hi, welcome back to the channel. This video is just me going around the toy fair, uh, showing you what I picked up and stuff like that. I did unfortunately forget my backpack, so I was holding like the camera there, trying to get most of the stores when I was walking past. Obviously, you'll see what I picked up, but at the end, I'll show you closely why I picked it up, what it means to me and stuff like that. But I hope you enjoy the 10 minutes of footage of me walking about so you can see all the toys. And yeah, I'll see you in a minute. He says he's going to have to Oh, it's just your grabbing. Which one, mate? Uh, this one. I think you have six Sorry, I got to take Yeah, you're alright, I'll, I'll work if you want. Um, which one is it? Uh, the Jedi Knight Revan.
Beetle box. Uh, yeah, no, yeah. Beetle box. These. Yeah. They're all this, uh, oh, they're on the back. Yeah, they're thirty. But I do you deal? Well, that one's got forty. Interested in all three? Uh, yeah. That's got forty as well. Okay, so that would be hundred and ten. Do eighty for the three. Yeah, perfect. Not a bad shot. Uh, yes, please, that one. Oh. I'm going to put that one in for you. Oh, so you don't worry, I'll get that. Oh, it's not going to happen. Uh, do you want to buy that? Yeah, perfect. Just stick it on it. There you go. Cheers. Thank you very much Thank indeed. You. Enjoy, my friend. Thank you. Have a nice day. Funny cars. to get one of these witches? Yeah. Which one would you like? Uh, just that one, please. Bloody one, yeah? Yeah. Thank 
So we're back after the footage. I hope you enjoyed that. Again, I just want to say sorry for like it being a bit shaky. I did unfortunately forget my backpack, which has the normal GoPro mount of me walking about. So I was caught, sort of like holding it on like a little selfie stick, and it just wasn't too good. So sorry about that. But uh, let's get into the pickups. Uh, first pickup, I believe, is this Black Series Jedi Knight Revan or Revan however you want to pronounce it brand new and sealed hasn't been opened I know you can get these a bit cheaper on eBay like £10 cheaper but I've been meaning to get one for a while and obviously I was at a toy fair anyway so I thought I might as well just get it while it's there instead of just waiting it's like £50 plus postage anyway so I'll probably like saved if I ever went on eBay but I thought I'll, I'll get one there why not but yeah been meaning to get one of these for a while I know he's going in archive soon so I probably should have waited but been wanting one for a while. I need to get the dark side version as well. Clip Black Series. So this was a no-brainer. Paid £60 for it. Um, yeah, happy days with that. Can't complain. Uh, the next pickups were a bundle of Beetle Bogs. I'm just going to go through them, show you what they are, and stuff like that. Why I picked them up. So, first one is Yara or Jara. Depends on how you want to pronounce it. They're all new and sealed. Uh, unfortunately, it does have the little tint of the odd discoloring shirt there. On the boxes on some of them one of them is clear but two of them are unfortunately tinted but I've been looking for sealed ones for a while you can get them on eBay cheaper uh, for probably no like a tenner each you know just unboxed but uh, it, I never see them sealed so this was a no-brainer for me uh, Thought, why not let's pick them up it's a bit loose inside uh, all the whip is at least on the Jara or Yara I keep saying Jara I don't know but beetle bogs, if you don't know what they were, uh, essentially they're basically Power Rangers, but a lot more kiddy, if that makes sense. Like more suited for children. I know Power Rangers are still suited for children, but it was a lot more dumbed down, if that makes sense. It's what I grew up with, so I loved them to bits. Uh, Yara is a villain, so I think all these are villains, if I remember correctly. I haven't watched it in a while. But uh, this is going to basically start off my collection. I still need to get the other box ones of the actual Beetle Box Heroes. So I thought, why not? Let's get these. It's a no-brainer. So this is Yara. Nice uh, detailing on the back. Got them all for £8, so I can't complain. Next one is Vexor. This is the one that... It does have tint or discolouring, but it's the most like see-through one and clear one. A um, bit of like bent in there, but I'm not too fussed. You never see them brand new. Uh, even on eBay, the very rare brand new. So um, yeah, I was happy with that. Again, I just like the box art, and <laughs> even as the old sticker that was like two pound fifty. So yeah, pretty cool. Uh, these will probably go on the bottom shelf at the moment in my second display. I do have four, but 
all of those are full at the moment. So these will probably go at the bottom at the moment. But yeah, can't complain with that, happy with that. And then we have Notsick. Notsick is probably actually the best one in terms of like the actual card not being bent or anything like that. It's pretty straight, but unfortunately it does have the discoloring. But uh, yeah, still happy with it. Can't complain, eight pounds for the lap, give me a deal. And yeah, happy days. The last one that was caught on camera, uh, I do have two more items that I got off camera. I just put it away and then just did another lap. But uh, I've been meaning to collect some of the Witcher 3 figures from McFarlane Toys. I still need to get Geralt or Geralt and uh, Siri and stuff like that. But I thought, why not? Let's just start it with this. At a bargain as well, 13 quid. Can't complain with that. I did get the bloody version of the Ice Giant because I just like the more detailed figures. So it has like the blood splats and stuff like that. I just thought that was like a lot cooler than the normal version. Plus I didn't want to like buy both of them, just the normal and the blood one. Because they're just basically the same figure and one's repainted. So I thought I'll get the more detailed one with the blood splats. And yeah, really happy with that. It is going to be the start of my Witcher 3 McFarlane. I was going to get like the Netflix versions but I thought, eh. Kind of left a bad taste in my mouth after season 3, after what's happened with Henry Cavill and stuff. So I thought, mm, I don't want to... I liked it, but yeah, if you know what I mean. Uh, but yeah, happy with that. And 13 quid, bargain. A lot of McFarlane toys are really cheap and a lot of them are high detailed. So like, you see right behind me, that they're all McFarlane Avatar toys. I have sort of like world build. And they were all quite cheap, got them on clearance. And yeah, they're all... Like, they're really high detailed, so I'm surprised they're always so cheap. But who knows, they might just mass produce them. But yeah, can't complain with that, very happy. Alright, and then the two figures that I got off camera for £25 each are these NECA Pacific Rim figures. You got a Coyote Tango and I believe Crimson Typhoon. Sorry, I had to read that one. Been after Pacific Rim NECA figures for a while, uh, you just can never tell if they're real or fake. Unfortunately, on eBay, they're scattered with like loads of fake ones. And they get away with it because they put a stock photo instead of actually taking pictures. It's something that eBay really needs to crack down on, but I know it's sort of impossible for them. But uh, I did the checks with the bloke. He said he got them from a trader like five months after they released and stuff like that. He said he's had them in his garage for a while and there was like dust marks and all that. So I trusted him. And I did do the checks on like online before I purchased it. So yeah, got that one for 25 and that one for 25 as well. I will try and collect the rest that are on the back, but I'll probably have to go to other toy fairs because I, I just do not trust eBay when it comes to NECA figures at all. It's just scattered with loads of fakes, so I do not trust them. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that video. My first toy fair video on the channel. Uh, I did promise you I was gonna start doing them. You can see me go around booth fairs and stuff like that when I'm like doing my reselling stuff. But toy fairs is all basically for my collection and me. So it is growing a lot. Obviously last time you saw my collection, I didn't have any of these figures except from the big avatar, like Banshees and stuff like that. I do have other stuff to my left, which you can see at a later date maybe, who knows. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you did, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Comment down if I missed something that you would probably liked. You know, you never know. We all have different tastes, different genres that we like. So yeah, I will see you in the next one and hopefully it may be Doncaster or a cow boot. Who knows? Thank you, and I'll see you later. Goodbye.